Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bear Denix here. And one thing that you may have noticed is that APT is deprecated. And that's probably why a lot of you guys are having a hard time actually adding repositories to Debian distributions, like Ubuntu, Mint, Pop OS. So what I'm actually going to show you is how to add repository keys with GPG instead. GPG is the, it stands for GNU Privacy Guard. And from now on, this is going to be the new way that you're going to have to add repositories. Because if you do add a repository the old-fashioned way, um, and this is still how most sites tell you how to add repository keys using the APT key, it's not going to work. It's going to be deprecated, and you're going to get uh, warnings or errors whenever you try to APT update. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now there's two files that you're going to have to know to add keys with GPG. One's going to be staying the same, which is going to be the... E tc apt sources list dot d and this is actually where you're going to be putting your file at and this is just going to be where the repository url is going to be going inside of the file that you create you can name it anything you want but it has to have a dot list at the end for it to read it now the new thing where the gpg key is actually going to be going is going to be in user share key rings and then your file whatever you create and it's going to be dot gpg this is the important part that you're going to have to have at the end. And basically what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be copying the key from their URL and you're going to be running it through the GPG command and converting it into a ASCII 2 armor file. Now if you're new to adding repositories, you might be asking why can't I just put the repository URL in here and just use it like that. Well you need key signing to actually verify that you're getting the download from where it says it's coming from. And that's where the GPG key is and also where the apt-key command was doing previously but is now deprecated like I said. Now GPG is going to be doing the same thing except we're going to be putting it in this uh, location to finish the key signing. Now with the repository URL which is going inside of etc apt sources list dot d um, uh, where you're actually going to be creating your file and putting the repository URL. Whenever you're actually setting this up, there's a few things that you have to know. The type, which is uh, most often going to be deb, and the path, which is going to be the path of your GPG key. The URL, which is just going to be the URL of the repository. The code name or phase of the Debian release. And the component is going to be the categories of the Debian package. So these are all things that you're going to actually have to add inside of your sources list.d file that you create. Now the commands that we're going to be going over are going to be curl in uh, gpg, and this is what I'm actually going to be using to add the repository, but uh, a lot of times you're going to see people using wget, and you can use this. The big thing is that you do have to add the dash o flag whenever you're using wget. But for this, we're just going to use curl to actually curl the key from the URL. And then we're going to be using pipe to pipe it through GPG to change the format of the key so that it will be recognized by your system. And the flag that we're actually going to be using is dArmor. Another thing I did want to tell you guys, if you want more information on what to put inside of your file, inside of the sources list.d directory, you can go to this URL and it is going to be inside of the description of the video. Now I'm going to show you where to actually find these URLs for the repositories and also the key. Now to actually find the repository URLs, you're going to just look up, just for instance, Google Chrome repository APT. And I'm going to click on this first link right here and you can actually see this is where the URL is for the repo key that we're actually going to be using. So you're going to want to copy that. And we can just go down here because you can see right in here that it doesn't actually have the URL of the repository. So we're going to just go back here and go down to this website. And you can actually see this is the repository key or the repository URL right here. And it's going to be the stable main version. And we're just going to put dab right in the front. Now we're just going to look up the adding Opera repository APT. And then we're going to just scroll down here and I'm going to go to this Debian link. And you can see right here this is going to be the repository URL. So you're going to want to copy that. And this is going to be the key that we're going to need. But we're not going to be using apt-key, obviously. So now let's hop into the terminal. I'm going to show you how to add the repositories using GPG. All right, now that I'm inside of the terminal, I'm just going to show you two ways of actually adding re the repositories. The first way, we're going to be root for this also. So let's just switch into that. 
and we're going to just go inside of the etc apt and uh, sources uh, dot uh, list dot d and now I'm just going to make a google dot list you can call this whatever you want but I would obviously suggest that you keep the name consistent with whatever repository it's going to be and now we can just nano into uh, google dot list now we can put deb in the brackets and now we're just going to put where um, the key signature is going to be so uh, I'll just put by and equals so it's going to be inside of the user share key rings and whatever we're going to be calling this key file which I'm going to be calling it Google dash key and gpg and it's got to be a dot gpg at the end there then we can close that off with a bracket now this is actually where we're going to where we're going to be putting our repository url and we're just going to plop that right down inside of there and this is going to be the stable and main version so now we can go control x yes and enter now if i update right now so let's just do a apt update this is the error that you're going to see if you're not using key signing so you can see it right down here here's some of the errors now actually how we fix this is we're going to have to add the GPG key and we're just going to use curl and then we're going to put the URL of the key, plop that down right in there and we're going to just pipe that into GPG and use dArmor and then we're going to forward that into the file that we want to put this which is going to be user share key ring. This is key rings yep and then what we're going to be calling this which we called a google dash key and gpg oh i forgot to put another dash by d armor okay there that would have worked now if we do a apt update you can see everything was added without a hitch and you can actually see our repository right here and everything went well. And if we do a apt search right here, uh, we can search Google and we can just pipe that into grep and do a Google and dash Chrome. Okay, now you can see some of the options that we here, have here. Um, Google Chrome Stable, and that's what we're actually going to be installing. So, and I can just take that and do a apt install. And then you can see that works without a hitch. And you can see that I already have it installed. Now, the other way to actually add repositories is to just do it through commands and not actually creating the file inside of the sources.list. So I could just show you here, and you can actually do this anywhere. So let's just go inside of our home directory. Um, and if we do a echo, and then we can put deb and our brackets, and do signed by equals user share key rings and opera, whatever we're going to be calling this, which is, I'm just going to put it uh, key.gpg, uh, close the brackets, and then we're going to be putting our URL uh, for the repository right inside of here. Copy that, paste that inside of there, and it's going to be the stable and non-free. And then we're just going to redirect that into etc, apt, and sources list.d and then we can just put our opera folder and you, like I said you can call this whatever you want as long as it has a dot list at the end yep we're good now we can hit enter now if I go inside of if I ls inside of uh, the etc apt and sources dot d you can see that we have our opera list inside of there and if we actually cat that out okay yep Okay, you can see that we actually have a repository and everything set up for us. And then once again, if we try to app update right now, it's going to uh, throw warnings and fail on us. So now we actually have to add our key. So we can do the same exact thing. We could just put curl and then we could put the URL of the key and 
uh, then run that through GPG again, just like we did with the cram repository. So we're just going to put GPG, the armor, okay, and then we're going to just forward that into user and share key ring and opera, whatever you want to call this, as long as it's the same, and GPG. Okay, I run that. Now if I do a apt update, you can see we actually added that repository, nothing failed and everything's looking good. And what I meant by what you, you want to keep this the same, pretty much your path here is what you're going to be putting inside of your dot list file and you want to make sure that these are going to be the same obviously if we change the name of this right here is going to uh, not actually know where the location of the key is so and that is important to get that proper um, but uh, besides that I hope I helped you guys out adding uh, repositories with GPG if I did help you out leave me a like and thanks for watching see you next time peace